<laughs> Sketchy. Hi, it's Josh. Welcome back to Sketchy for another, uh, well, another uh, instance of hyper specific indie video game art. Uh, today I'm drawing a grub from the game Hollow Knight, a game that, if you don't know a lot about video games, might be obscure. But if you follow video games at all, um, console gaming or or PC, really, I think you will have heard of Hollow Knight by now. Uh, one of the um, major players in the indie uh, Metroidvania revolution. I really don't like that word. So not only is it just unwieldy and pretentious, it's not a good uh, portmanteau because it has the entire word Metroid in it and then half of the word Castlevania. So that's not right. I don't know what the solution is. Uh, Met, Met, Metvania? That doesn't sound good either. Just come up with something better. I don't know. Come on. Do I have to do everything? Anyway, the game is great. Um, it's one of the... Look, I'll talk about video... I have talked about video games, and I have some more stuff coming where I'm going to talk about video games on my channel. And so I'll get more into things there. Um, but as I've I've mentioned before... I'm a dad gamer. I'm late to gaming. I got a Switch in 2019, and I've been catching up on a lot of stuff. Um, I also have a Steam Deck now, so now I'm catching up on PC games as well as console games. And uh, I <laughs> I have an aversion to difficulty. I don't uh, have time to get good. I don't have time for games to kick my butt. If a game is, is, uh, is unpleasant to play and puts up too many roadblocks, I will move on. Hollow Knight represents a real exception to this because it is a very challenging game. Uh, the platforming and the progression and the boss fights, very, very, very um, difficult, requiring a lot of skill and a lot of precision. But the game is so good. It's just so good that it's worth the fight. So I uh, have completed this game with 106% completion. And no, that is not the <laughs> ultimate level of completion, but it was good enough for me. And uh, I love the game. It is so good. The art style is charming and creepy at the same time. The animation is delightful. The, um, the world is mysterious. It's just... Uh, it gives you just enough information to keep you going, but makes you have to try hard and learn things. And generally, I don't like that, especially in games that uh, don't feel worth it. But this game feels worth it. I'd say, uh, while we're on the topic, other difficult video games that were worth it in my opinion, are uh, Cuphead, which is a pretty popular indie game as well, and punishingly difficult. But another one that I've completed with 100% because it's so good and I was so determined. It drove me crazy. I'll never play it again. It's not the kind of thing you can pick up for fun. So I haven't gotten to that DLC yet because I just don't have it in me to go back into that world. But I did it. I beat that devil and uh, finished that game, and it's fantastic. And another one I would mention is The Messenger, a... Um, kind of a twist on for it starts off as a twist on ninja gaiden type uh, pixely action games and then turns into quite a, a clever metroidvania uh of its own so that's just some examples maybe again i'm going to flesh these ideas out in some upcoming videos if you'll have me talking about video games i know that's not everybody's cup of tea i'm not going to go to being a uh, video games only channel unless it's lucrative, but uh, I want to put that in the mix, at least, because it's my hobby, and uh, I don't get to talk about it a lot <laughs> in my personal life as a boring 47-year-old. So, um, I don't know, maybe stay tuned for some of that stuff. Anyway, the art, here it is. Um, a simple character, a deceptively simple character with a lot of uh, personality in its design. They're adorable. Uh, these characters are cute. You collect them. You set them free by smashing their jars. They've all been kidnapped from their larval uh, hive, and uh, you have to send them home. And then I'm not going to spoil what happens after that, but I'll just say that my um, my daughter, who was like eight years old at the time, she's 11 now, but when I played this game, she loved the grubs. And then she didn't quite love <laughs> what happens to the grubs in that game. It's a dark game, but uh, that's all I'll say. Uh, trying to capture a little bit of that misty quality of the the uh, of the ambiance in Hollow Knight here and um, 
there we go. I um I, I messing with some blur and then put it going back in with some stronger dots to give the impression of fireflies or some kind of glowing environmental particles. And um, that's the picture. Thank you for your time. I will see you in the next video. It's fun to talk to you. Bye.